hey guys uh, welcome back to another video welcome back to learn a nutshell so in today's video let's see how to expose your local server to public so basically for this what we'll be using is uh, there's something called as ngrok or ngrok however you want you can pronounce it you can just search for that and you'll get their official website click on that and you can sign up that's the first thing you need to do so I've already signed in so let me sign out and uh, sign show you a sign up quickly so when you come to sign up there'll be option you can give uh, the username password manually uh, and uh, you know, create an account or you can sign up with github or uh, google or just select google and here i'll select one of the accounts from where i want to sign up so this is the one which i'll be using click on continue just accept the terms and conditions click on create account so you'll get this one uh, you can you know scan this scan uh, you can scan this using your google authenticator one password or microsoft uh, authenticator so this will be like a multi-factor authentication uh, so every time you log in you need to provide a code which will be generated in that app so you can scan this click on next now uh, for that i need to scan so let me quickly scan So I've scanned it. Now let's click next and enter the code. So click on continue. We'll get this one. Download, take a backup of this. So no recovery codes. And click on finish. So you can provide your you no know, details of your your profession. I'll just select some random things and click on continue so you'll get this the first thing they have you not know, take us is uh, to our setup and installation here you can uh, download the app click on download for windows 64 or whatever operating system you have download it and then we need to copy this uh, this thing you know for authenticating so go to this folder and extract everything then once extracted open this in command prompt just type cmd in the top and press enter it will you know, bring up this path in command prompt then paste the content which you copied just now for authenticating so this will be added to the ngrok config click on enter so it's configured now if you want you can see what are the next steps here you have options what you want to expose so I want to expose my local host 8080 or uh, the other options but let me quickly do this one and just paste it here now click on enter so this particular uh, you know local host 8080 will be exposed whatever request comes from here or goes out of 8080 will be forwarded to this URL and uh, same thing whatever comes to this url will be forward to 8080 so you can track everything uh, with this url 127.0.0.1 and uh, you can see what are the requests coming in what are the response that is going out everything can be tracked from this url so let me quickly show one example of this for that what i'll do is i'll use one express app uh, so let me create new window open a folder go to documents projects uh, create a new folder try express and select yes yes i trust the other let's quickly initialize uh, this has a node application for that you can just type 
I can type node in it or npm in it. Let me quickly check npm in it. You can just type npm in it. And uh, if you don't want you know, to manually type everything, you can just give hyphen y. So it will take all the default values, even the default entry point. So the default entry point is uh, index.js. So next thing is you can search for express when you search for express uh, you, will get, you can go to this getting started and here you have all the options on how to do it so you can set whatever entry point you want which i just showed then you can just run this npm install express so when you run this all the packages will be downloaded and it will come into node modules folder if you don't want to save it in the package.json you can give no save next let's quickly run this uh, let's quickly run this little code hello world let's create a file called index.js and paste the content as it is so if you see here, oh, it's a get request and the port they have mentioned is 303, uh, 3, uh, which is not the one which we are configured, which we have configured in uh, uh, ngrok. So we need to change this to 8080. And apart from this, let's keep it as get and the path is the root path which we have given here. So to quickly run this, you can just type node and give the file name and press enter. It will you know, start the server. It will start listening to 8080. Now, if you want to quickly test it, you can come here and type localhost 8080. So it's working fine. So if you give any other port, it will not work. So it's uh, it's refusing. So eight zero is eight zero one eight zero eight zero is the one that is uh, you know Express is listening to. So next thing what you have to do is we have already configured. If you see here we have already configured it. So this is the URL. If I click on this URL, press Control and hit on this. It will ask for one confirmation. Click on visit site. So again this is taking us to. 8080 it is forwarding all the requests from this url to localhost whatever response is coming back will be forwarded to this url and you can see the response here with this url you can configure or do whatever you want with this url for testing your application uh, you know publicly you can uh, do that as well so that's how you do now if you want to inspect everything you can see it over here can see what's the request coming in what's the response going back all the requests will be coming in here and uh, the response will be shown here if I change something so for example let's do this over here let's open this give it has this click on send i'm getting this let's pass some param so click on send now if i come here and go to the list latest one you can see if there's any params it you can see it in the summary as well and same thing goes for post as well you can send any post request click on raw Click on JSON, uh, type some request, learn in a nutshell, and click on send. It will say cannot post because we have not configured post, but you can definitely see the request here. And uh, maybe you can quickly do configuration for post as well. Can just copy this maybe and uh, put it below this and just change this get to post hopefully this should work let's test it it still says 
not found okay i need to stop the server and start it again so let's test now so it is working it's still saying hello world that's the response which you're sending back for the post as well if i come here and see that you can see that as well the request is here the response is here and thus that's how you know you can expose your uh, local host ports which is specifically 8080 in my case to public so hope this helps uh, guys uh, let me know in the comments if there's any doubt and uh, if you like the video please do the like button subscribe comment and share with your friends let's catch you in the next video until then see you bye